Alrighty guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Egglock And if you guys are enjoying yourselves in this series so far, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like down below Because of course, all your support is very, very much appreciated So, here we are in Lily Cove City because we have to go ahead and deal with Team Magma But before we get into that, let's go ahead and do a quick party update So here we have Evan, the level 37 Magnetonium is a modest nature, sturdy ability He's got Thunderbolt, Sonic Boom, a Thundershock, and Thunder Wave we have Jin, the Pupitar, who's got the Dragon Dance. Wait, what, what nature is he? He is the Adam in nature, not bad. Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Outrage, and a Bite. And then we have Vernon D. Celio, who's got the Thick Fat Ability, Calm Nature, Hold the Mystic Water, Power Up Surf. He's also got Ice Beam, a uh, Body Slam, and Aurora Beam. Then we have Bulky, the Altari, who's got the Natural Cure Ability, Hardy Nature, he's got Fly, Take Down, Dragon Breath, and Steel Wing. Then we have Evan the Magmar, his Flame Body Ability, Modest Nature, he's got Thunder Punch, Cross Chop, Fire Punch, and Mega Punch. And last but not least, we have Grim Leaper, the shiny shifter. He's the uh, early, bird ability, early bird ability. Calm Nature, Fake Out, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Ice, and Faint Attack. And that is what the squad is looking like right now. The squad is on fleek, if you if you will. I, I'm, I should not even try to say that. But one thing I do want to do before we actually start this episode is go ahead and maybe hatch a few eggs. That would be a cool thing to do. So what we're going to do is actually hatch a few eggs. So I'm going to pull up my, my folder really quickly because I forgot to do that. So the music is obviously going to stop. So we're going to go here to eggs. Uh, and we have box one and box two right here. So we're going to see what box we want to pick through really quickly. But we're going to go ahead and do Cacleon. So we're going to see really quickly. Box one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to go ahead and pick from box two. So let's go ahead and do that. We got a five. And basically, I don't even have to roll it because obviously we have to pick this one. Uh, there's no, like, it's the only one that's left there. So uh, Kecleon is right there. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap this for Shiftry. And I'm just going to put Shiftry right here. But let's go ahead and... Hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold, we have to go ahead and see what this thing is going to be nicknamed. So, uh, 6, 12, 18, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This thing is T1TZ, so it spells it spells tits. Nice. Whoever set this in, great job. You spelled tits. <laughs> so let's just see what we can get here. Hopefully something cool. And then we can uh, make our way uh, through some, like the magma hideout or something. And because I'm not gonna hatch these eggs right now, I'm not gonna hatch all of them. We're just gonna do one, and then we'll make our way. So let's see what tits is going to be. Oh, <gasps> a sneasel! Yo, that is awesome. Not even bad. This thing is going to be a monster. Hasty nature, bite, crush, claw, fake out, and taunt. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and level this thing up to level 30 really quickly. And then we can go ahead and... What's it called? What's it called? Oh, it's got quick attack. Okay. So we're going to get rid of taunt. And then we can go ahead and um, continue on. That we can. That we can. Hold on a second. One second. There we go. All right. This whole process of just leveling up is so difficult. I'm just, at the end of this Let's Play, if you were wondering, that we are definitely going to have an egg hatching video of me just going through all the eggs and just hatching them. It's not going to be very long because we did not get that many eggs, but we got a decent amount. So uh, we're just going to have one. I'll probably do a like update video around that or something. I don't know. Baked attack. I'm going to get rid of bites because it's a little bit stronger than that. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, Fury Swipes. This thing really does not get that many good moves, does it? God damn. Alright, so there we go. Sneasel. So we're gonna go ahead, put Sneasel over here. And drop him off. And then we're gonna take Shiftery. Put him right there. So now we can go ahead and continue on. What we actually have to do is head over to the Magma Hideout, which is actually located right in that little path from Lava Ridge Town. So, if we go to Lava Ridge, we have to go all the way... Here, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Because there's a little... We can't go right through the Jagged Path because there's a ledge that we have to jump over and we can't do that. So, 
we're just gonna go this way and right here because it is in here oh I forgot I didn't fight this dude it's fine it's fine I guess it's fine so we'll just go for the stealing take him out and uh, ball toy I guess we can just go for dragon breath it doesn't really matter I think it's obviously gonna one shot no matter what we do and it is so now what we do oh the boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem and there we go our little entrance is open and since this is the magma hideout we can most definitely get a new encounter here so let's see what we're gonna get it is a graveler so it's level 30 not bad at all can the stealing not kill awesome magnitude 5 obviously nothing really come on the one time I don't want to crit are you big Pokemon I think I have strength I should have strength I don't know it's been a while since I've recorded this series if you guys cannot tell it's just been a little bit I've been busy doing other stuff and uh, so yeah Evan let's just teach it to Evan give it a mega punch because this one's full accuracy so why not just have that instead you know and there we go there we go so yeah that really sucks that we weren't able to catch our graveler but oh well we, I think we can live I think we can live there he is right now just taunting us with that little smirk on his face do we have any super pels because that would be something that is not bad to have whoops I meant to actually um there we go super pal so um right there I just want to not try to fight any unnecessary trainers but I guess this is where we have to go so it's been a while since I've actually done uh, emerald or even like you know just done this part of the game so so I guess we'll just attack everything and dragon breath it all to death and wow that dude had one Puchiana that's actually really weird for like a grunt this early in the game so uh you know it is what it is though oh come on I can't go through the freaking door which really sucks because we have a repel on so hopefully I'll be decent hopefully I will uh, can I not fight you maybe is there a way no it's just not probably no of course I gotta fight you so we'll do that he's got a new mill no mill dragon breath and dead all these things are all these people have like one Pokemon and I actually could have avoided this trainer by going down so that kind of sucks you know it's fine though it's fine it's fine but what episode is this what is episode? is this like episode 16 I think maybe something like that I don't know but this series is fun, you guys seem to be enjoying it, so I'm very glad. You guys are answering the question today, even when I forget to tell you to do that. So it lets me know that you guys are like you guys want to interact with the series, and that makes me feel really great. So thank you all for that. I really appreciate the support on this series. That was some just that was a play right there. We just juked him out. And look at this, we're gonna get the hit. Dead. Look, did you guys see that play? Oh my god, we played that Zubat so hard. Or that ball toy. And the Zubat, I guess. Damn. We just went hard in the paint there. Damn. All right, so I'm going to see where we have to go. I'm actually going to check this first. Uh, what is this? What is here? What are thou? I mean, I guess I'm just... Wherever there's trainers, I think you got to go. That's just that's just pretty much a staple rule on, like, everything. So, I don't know. If there's trainers, you're good. Or at least that's what I say. Oh, really? How long is your range? My lord. My goodness. All right, whatever. But Dragon Breath. What is you? What is you? It's an elixir. Are you kidding me? I thought there. And then it just like shuts up up there. I thought it would be like a uh, entrance to some place, but I guess it's just a knot. It's just a knot. But whatever. So we're gonna go up here, face this dude. And I'm not really sure where we're going. I'm just kind of exploring, which is fine. I don't really mind not knowing where we're going. And I cannot believe that Zubat just ate that up. That's insane. Oh boy, all right, so we can go to Vernon D. That we can. I think we're a little bit over leveled, which kind of sucks, but a rare candy. All right, so the rule about rare candies is you have to use them once you find them. So you're not like, oh, I think I had one rare candy, so we're just gonna use it on Jin. So yeah, that's the rule. The repel war off, which is fine. I'm just gonna speed it up, so in case we find a Pokemon, it's not gonna matter. And we did find this Geodude here. And uh, come on, are you kidding me? Ah, you kitten me, might You got to be kitten me. Yeah, all these freaking Pokemon, they're everywhere. You see, I've actually never understood that. Like, it's a, it's completely a flat ground. How does this one Pokemon just walk up in front of you? How do we not see the Pokemon? That's what I want to know. That is what I want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know. All right, whatever. We're done. We're done there. Aurora Beam, take out the Zubat. Which we did. And yas. 
What is down there? I feel like there's gonna be nothing. You know, something I do wanna watch out for is I'm pretty sure there's a couple doors in here that if you go through them, it makes you start over. Uh, there's like the little trap doors that this game just likes to pull on you and it's such a dick thing to do. Like, it's just so mean. Because you go out through this one door and you're just at the beginning. Like, are you kidding me? That's gotta be the most sad thing in the world. Like that one, I'm pretty sure that's one of the doors. So, I do not wanna go at that anytime soon. Really, it's not like we're gonna be that far into the game or into the puzzle, I guess. So, I'm gonna make sure if I go, we gotta go on the side. So there's no way possible. No way on earth. So let's go in here. Yes, I think I do remember this. I don't know if this is where we're supposed to go, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple cool items in here. PP Max. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to go. Might be even that door down there that I was talking about. Might be a trap door. But uh, I'm starting to think that that's actually not a trap door. So you never judge a book by its book by its cover. Not a book by its what's a bug? He's trying to paraflinch me. Are you kidding me, man? You're so mean. You are so mean. He probably just went for a roar. That's why I went faster. Or I went first. So that's something to keep in mind. And actually, something I'm thinking about is that graveler might have even used like self destruct or something. Would we? When we're trying to catch it, it might even use that, so I, I don't know. I mean, I guess if we weren't going to kill it, it was going to kill itself, so I'd rather kill it and get the EXP than have it kill itself and potentially kill one of my Pokemon. So you got to think like that. you got to think of the positives beyond the negatives. And uh, Psybeam, freaking, are you kidding me? Ancient power. And he got the crit. Like, are you serious? God damn. All right, yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, are you level? You know, I gotta use a restore on you. Holy crap. What am I even thinking? Do we have a... Do we have a uh, full heal? There it is. Alright, there we go. So, now we can continue on. Oh, of course we have a double battle. I don't really want... Excuse me, I don't even know why I keep, like, hiccuping. The worst time to actually get hiccups is while recording a video. Absolute worst time. There's no time where you would not want to get a hiccup more than that, so I just want to make that clear. Actually, I'm going to go for Ice Beam on you and Thunderbolt on you because I'm cool like that. Because I'm cool. Because I'm cool. But yeah, at some point, what I think is funny is that we have two Pokemon on our team named Evan. Like, are you kidding me? This person named Evan got so lucky and we hatched both of his Pokemon and now we're both using them. So that's pretty funny, but what I, what I do want to do in a couple episodes, because uh, I want to switch out Bulky, and I want to switch out Magmar, and I want to bring in Charizard, because Charizard is going to be awesome. Charizard will be awesome to use, and that way we can get rid of one of our Pokemon named Evan. And yeah, I just can't wait for the Elite Four, because what we're going to do is basically probably swap out every single member of our team, and I'm just going to build a team that's going to be the best for the Elite Four, so that's going to be cool. That's going to be pretty swell. Pretty swell if I do say so myself. And we got a max revive, so that's nice. And here we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave Verdant D out because obviously Maxi, fire type, so let's just go ahead and talk to Maxi. Groudon, nothing could awaken you from your sleep beyond magma. The blue orb is what you saw, wasn't it? I brought you the blue orb. Let it shine and awaken you. And show me. Show me the full extent of your power. Oh boy, Maxi. Oh boy. Oh boy. And there you go. He's gone. He's gone. And it's gone. Groudon, what's wrong? What's the blue orb the key? Groudon, where have you gone? Oh, so it was you. I've seen you poking around uninvited here and there. I get it now. You must be pulled a cheap something. I didn't see that word, but it's fine. It is just fine. Mighty Anna. Vernon D. Let's go. We got the Surf off, which is great. And look, he's level 37. We are right on par. That is not bad. And this is not even his ace. Camera upped. I think we should be good. Yup. Adios, bro chacho. Crobat. Uh, Evan. Evan should be able to handle this thing quite nicely. If we get confused, never mind. We can't. Can we go? We got it. One shot. Adios. What makes you so adept at handling Pokemon? I have no idea, bro. I've got no idea. There has to be some reason Groudon fled. That's what you're trying to say, aren't you? Humph. 
You think I didn't know that? With Groudon gone, there is no need for any blast. There's a blasted volcano. I'm going after Groudon, so that is my part or something like that. I don't know. I didn't see much. Oh, I think this is an escape rope. But first, I think there might be an item or something up here. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. So we're just going to use the escape rope that we got. So handy dandily. And get up out of ya. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get the... Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. Alright, so now we are in Lava Ridge Town. But what we do have to do is go ahead and fly to Lily Cove. Because we actually have to go ahead and take on the Team Aqua Hideout now. But... We're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode. So if you guys did happen to enjoy, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like down below. Because, of course, all your support is very, very much appreciated on the series. Make sure you guys answer the question of the day in the comment section below. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.